All right, folks, it's about that time. I am back from Arizona, just got back last night. And guess what, got no produce. So uh, I am leaving for my tour in La Jolla this week. I'm gonna bring some produce with me from this place. This is the World Harvest Food Bank at Venice and Arlington in Los Angeles for a $55 donation. You can get a heaping cart of groceries that is enough to feed your entire neighborhood. So um, I've, or, what I usually do is I try to organize a group of aunties to come join me to split the cart because it's too much food. We may have to get two carts today because so many people are showing up. And um, I'm tr my goal is to just leave with two bags, famous last words, two bags, a little bit of honey and a little bit of coffee, which I'll send to my aunties on the Navajo reservation. Um, uh, what else? Oh, if you if you don't if you aren't able to afford the fifty five dollars, you don't you know you don't want to part with it. Uh, you can also volunteer here for four hours. So uh, I'm here on a Saturday. It's it's a heat wave in Los Angeles. Um, I've been mentally preparing to leave the house. I was in Arizona where it's 100 degrees. Uh, we are something close to that in LA later today. And um, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get in and get the hell out. So this is the flea market that happens on uh, just Saturdays where they pull all the hard goods out, put them outside. There has been Tory Birch here sometimes. There's sometimes shoes. Uh, some of the donations they get include Amazon returns. Um, Costco returns and all like basically all stuff has been donated but you could buy super cheap. What do we have at the yard sale today? We have a little duffel, this little lunch case bag, a little, little fleece, blankets. Hello. Shoes for kids. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, I do look different today. Thank you. I look fresh. Showered. I showered for you all. I'm gonna have to probably shower again. Ooh. I am in the market for a uh, toner. I look around and see some toner. There's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff. If you watch my videos, you've seen this a million times. <laughs> this is what's in stock today. This is coffee. I actually got a bunch of, about 50 pounds of both coffee and honey, and I, I brought it to Auntie Germain and her um, market, which is in a very rural area of the Navajo Nation. And so she distributed that to her customers. She She's a not very a profitable business. She really, really operates as a service. So, you know, I gave it to her so you could sell it. You do whatever she said, I'll just give it away. And I was like, ah, that's, this is why you don't make money <laughs> in your business. But you know, it's uh, when you're in a food desert, it's it's wonderful to be able to give and get food. Ooh, these, these I will probably get. Coconut milk is great to make. Um, uh, ooh, yay, the Oatly is in. Yes, yes, now we are talking, folks. Um, lots of this honey is in, lots of honey, lots of honey. I actually brought a packet of cashews that was wrapped like this. Mexico. It kind of got me through Mexico when my stomach wasn't doing very well. These are a lot of airline snacks. Our Asian aunties love... Okay, so he got his JFC account back. Ooh! Which means um, Asian groceries are getting donated. So lots of seaweed, lots of... Uh, our Vietnamese auntie was like, wow, so culturally appropriate. <laughs> some really good stuff. Of course, I love showing everybody. These two fridges were bought with um, money that was pledged for my birthday two years ago. So look at this. They, they're able to display all this wonderful produce, stuff like that. Cold drinks, which is great on a hot day. We have an overflow of diapers, my friends. Anyone has babies that needs diapers, come to World Harvest. What's a swaddle blankets? Nordstrom swaddle blankets, wow. Wow, that could be really useful if I had babies in my life. Soap, so this is really useful, big blocks of soap. My, my friend Dylan who works at Shower of Hope, she, she picked up a few of these because, um, you know, you can just slice off the, the amount of soap that people need when they take their mobile shower. All right, this is the preset cart. Look at this. There's whole packs of stickers. I don't 
know if these are like bindies or the whole, I guess maybe the whole skull, but how fun is that? And then there's, um, so these are the things that they kind of have to move. So there's a children's kit, obviously a lot of airline donations, and then um, wipes, hella bread, uh, just a lot of stuff. Oh, seaweed, of course, lots of stuff. So this is the way this works. This whole section of the store for 55, you can fill up with as much as you want, produce and bread, but the, 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 the produce, or the, sorry, the meat and the protein stuff, they will put at the end for you. But don't worry, everyone gets more than enough for their 55. Um, I'm pumped because I, I have to get back on a little bit of a rehearsal diet. So I grabbed a couple bags of broccoli because those are great, easy to eat for me. Um, yeah. This is Glenn, everyone, Food Bank Daddy. And thanks to Food Bank Day, Daddy, we got 50 pounds of honey and coffee with requests for yes. more to a very rural area on the, on the Navajo Nation. And they're giving it, they're giving the toothpaste and all the stuff away to the folks there. Beautiful. So thank you. They're very grateful. My mom used to teach on the Navajo Nation. Oh, you did? Yeah. You did. Wow. Look at this. I pulled this off. When have you seen right? a food bank, Daddy? Yeah, right? This blinged out. When have you seen this? Look at that. Not a day over 63, this That's man. Right. <laughs> So this is all our food, everybody. All the food we're getting for 55. That's all coffee. That's all tofu. It's crazy now. This is Esther Che's first time at the food bank. What do you think, Esther? Eleven dollars. I, I show up and everybody's just giving me food. Yes. Produce, lettuce, catfish. A bag of catfish. Eleven bucks. Catfish. What Eleven. Asian American does not like catfish? Auntie showed up. Okay. Yes. Whoa. With an ice bag. Yes. Okay, that's that was pretty crazy. I don't recommend going on Saturdays. It is so busy at the food bank. Plus, I was coordinating. There were five on our end, and then I think Marie Wren had hella people on her. Like by the end, people were just giving me lots of cash for their fit for their portion. So. So I'm basically, I'm gonna go right past my home to the community fridge in East Hollywood because there is so much food. There was a giant box of avocados. Um, some of them might not be good. Avocados are such a hit or miss thing, but I'm gonna put the avocados in this fridge. I also have this big chefs against hun hunger thing, which is like, I don't know how these folks are gonna, we just gotta figure out. They'll, we're just gonna, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it is really hot. It's a, t it's a fucking hot day to do a food bank run, but um, so grateful that this resource exists, like all this bread and tofu, all that's gonna go to the, to the fridge. There's some pre-made sandwiches and stuff. I'm gonna put those in the fridge, but usually I'll try to document it. It's such chaos usually when I park there because it looks like there's no one there and then all this stuff is gone by the time I've like got back into my car. Um, yeah. So here we are, there's the the fridge all full up, thank you World Harvest, and then they put hot dogs and a bunch of avocados over there, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go home, I filled that fridge. Uh, it's very sweet how the folks there like just like help me and they're like so excited, And but it also is just like, we shouldn't be hungry, right, you know? So. Um, but yeah, I, I, there are these big three trays of food. I had some like plastic utensils that I put out, but I don't have plates. So unfortunately it might be a situation where people are just, um, reaching hands in and stuff. But there was like a tray of hot dogs, which for the most part seems semi-sanitary. <laughs> um, but I, I, I promise you at the end of the day that will be empty. That fridge will be empty. Um, it moves so quickly. Uh, and the drinks don't even get a chance to get cold because honestly, like as soon as you put it down, people come in. So that's East Hollywood. This is a little east of uh, Vermont and Santa Monica. If you're ever finding yourself with an excess of good food, bring it to that fridge. So that was a scorcher, folks. Let's do the haul. Let's do the haul. Okay, first we got two giant bags of farro and is this is couscous. What is this? Some ancient grain, but this is, look, look at my hand. This is a lot of grains. Yes, yes, happy, yes. 
Okay, these are nine boxes of this coffee. Um, people don't necessarily have the Nespresso thing, but you can just kind of poke a hole and run it through your espresso machine. You know, ground to ground. I got six 16 ounce things of extra firm tofu. Mmm. This is a bag of sugar. Okay, baby tomatoes. I think more of these are in the bag. Two things of cherries. One of many small bags of avocados. I'm not sure of the quality of these. There was one cut open. It did not look great, but who knows with avocados. Okay, two more bags of avocados. Baby, baby cherry tomatoes. All right, this is the end of it. Two big bags of broccoli florets. Little, um, these peppers, I can't remember what they're called. And uh, nectarines, hooray. Okay, so that was the haul. It was $11, it was total chaos. I was able to leave all that stuff at the community fridge. God, I got this big zit, it's getting so big. Anyway, um, uh, what else? What else uh, to say about that? It was, I don't recommend going on Saturday, but if you have to, you have to. It's really hard to find parking. And then if you meet up with a bunch of people, you know, like especially if they're a little late, it actually like throws things a little bit. But we did it. We all, we're all eating for super cheap. Thank you, World Harvest. Um, what else? I'm gonna, so that was a light haul because I'm trying to bring it to San Diego so that I can have it to eat when I'm there. Yeah. Thank you, everybody.